I uploaded a video so incredible, so entertaining that some would say to be their favorite Matthew Skyup video on the channel. Now it's been 3 years since that video and ever since then I've made other Minecraft mods along the way. I just want to go back to my old roots and make another Reddit mod suggestion video. When we drink it... What the? Seriously? Again? Are you kidding me? It's like the first time this week. Maybe it's just out of battery again. That always happens. <sighs> well, I guess it's time then. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. After over three and a half years here on YouTube, I finally got my hands on Minecraft Java Edition. And now that I'm no longer your favorite Minecraft Bedrock YouTuber and forever in my exile art, I just want to say it was a fun ride playing on Mobile Bedrock Edition and creating mods over the years. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Specifically my phone being too old to make videos. Now, I still want to make Minecraft mods, but since we're now in Java Edition, I need to learn Java modding from scratch, which isn't much of a problem, but where should I begin? Where do I even begin? And then I remembered, in the last video we were doing Reddit Minecraft suggestions. Suggestions made by the community for Minecraft posted on the Minecraft suggestions subreddit. Some of these suggestions are mostly aimed to either improve features from snapshots or features that already exist in the game, or just straight up come up with entirely new ideas. And so I figured, why not create these suggestions into the game? That way I can use this as a form of a practice to learn Java modding and also, well, create these suggestions at the same time. So without further ado, let's create these reddit suggestions crafting deep slate okay so this was a pretty simple one basically what the post asked is for deep slate to be crafted using cobblestone and so yeah so it's pretty simple and as you can see there's nine cobblestone and we can get one deep slate out of it so this is very straightforward and pretty much one of the simpler ones because well we're gonna go from the simpler ones to the more complicated ones so let's go with the next one meat pie okay so here's the crafting recipe for the meat pie so we have one carrot on top a potato on top of here as well um no pocket in the middle three wheat and two alias at the bottom and here's the fun part basically the post also mentioned that we can create um different meat pies based on the different meats that we um, using the crafting recipe. So we can have um, pork chop pie. We use um, cooked pork chop. Um, we can get um, beef pie using a steak. Um, cooked rabbit to get rabbit pie. So yeah, you basically get the, the idea. So let's um, actually, I'm gonna show you um, the mutton pie first. I'm gonna go gonna craft the chicken pie. And here's another thing about the meat pie. So basically the post also mentioned that um, the pie needs to be cooked. So as you can see here, I'm trying to eat the um, chicken pie. I'm right clicking right now. Um, as, yeah, sorry, as you can see, I'm trying to do that. Um, uh, but it's just not working. Uh, see, uh, it, it's not working. So what we actually need to do is to cook the meat pie and, uh, oh, sorry guys, uh, be patient with me. I, I'm still getting used to the controls. This is my first time playing Java Edition. And so, yeah, basically what we gotta do is to cook the chicken pie. And we just gotta wait for a moment. Okay, so now we got the baked chicken pie and we can now eat it. And as you can notice, um, here we have the um, baked version of the meat pies and this is the, well basically the raw version of it. You can see that it has different textures. And so yeah, it, it's kind of a cool feature, I guess. Nine flint can be condensed into a block of chert. So now when we put the flint like this, we can get a block of chert. And as you can notice, um, it kind of looks like andesite. Uh, this is basically what the um, host wanted. And another cool feature is that basically, let me just get uh, let me just get a few. Uh, iron items here. So the cool thing about the block of chert mentioned in the post is that basically, well, you know how um, the flint and steel item basically can um, set things on fire? So yeah, basically, um, well, what the post wanted to do is that basically, well, since um, the block of chert is crafted using flint, why not make it so that when you 
strike it with any sort of iron item, it will set anything on fire. So as you can see, um, let me just fly up here, do a bit of um, a more better demonstration. So as you can see, if I strike um, the block of choice using an iron ingot, it will set um, wherever the side that I strike it with on fire. So yeah, you, so yeah, that is this is basically how it works. And you can use um, any other um, iron items. Um, it doesn't work for the iron blocks because, well, it kind of looks goofy to me. But yeah, you can use um, the iron sword, uh, iron chest plate, the helmet, and the fire is already spreading. You can use the iron hoe, iron nugget. So yeah, it's kind of a um, it's, it's a cool way to um, set things on fire, I guess. So now you can have this um, cool little fireplace where basically, um, how do I? Uh, there we go. I I'm still getting used to the controls. So basically, yeah, you can just like strike the block of chert and boom, you have like a, a sort of an automatic fire chimney place a uh, fireplace yeah and the fire is already spreading stronger glass okay so when we cook a piece of sand in a glass furnace we can get toughened glass now toughened glass is almost practically the same with regular glass but as you will notice here there is there's a bit of a color difference now the polls didn't really specify on the um, stronger glass, all they just said is just make the glass stronger. So this is what I can come up with. So right now I'm doing a bit of a, a bit of a test right now. So let me just how do I? Okay, I'm clicking the S right now. This I'm still getting used to the controls. Okay, so on the right side we have the toughened glass, and on the left side we have the normal regular glass. So if we place a TNT here, and if we try to light it, and just cover this part up. So yeah, um, the normal glass will break because of like the TNT um, glass, but um, the, the toughened glass, it, it will stay intact. Smooth glowstone. Okay, so now when we cook glowstone in a furnace, we can get smooth glowstone. And what we can also do is that we can use the stone cutter and use the smooth glowstone to make either smooth glowstone slabs or smooth glowstone stairs. So yeah, you now have this new sort of um, decoration block, and when we try to set it to night time... Actually, let's set it to midnight. So yeah, we now set it to midnight, and as you can see, the blocks are now glowing in the dark. So let me just try to go over here. You can see that we place a slab, that emits some light. We go over here, we place the stairs variation, and yeah, the light's coming out of it. And we place it over here. So yeah, so these three variations of the smooth glowstone can emit light in the dark. New potion effect, immunity. Okay, so let me just give myself the um, poison effect and the wither effect. So, okay, so I got the two of them, the two effects right now. And if I were to drink a potion of immunity... Okay, so hold up, let me just... There we go, so... So yeah, as you can see, um, it kind of works, um, partially. So yeah, as you notice, um, the second when I drink the immunity potion, um, the poison is just gone. And when I try to give myself the poison again, um, it just doesn't work because I still have, um, the immunity effect. And the immunity effect will only remove the poison and wither effect. So if I were to try giving myself weakness or slowness, I'll still have those two effects, but if I still try to give myself poison, I I don't have the poison. Okay, so we're in survival mode right now. I removed the um, all of the status effects that I already had, and so if we try to walk on the Widow Rose, yeah, you can see that I am taking damage on the because of the Wither effect. But if I drink um, the Immunity Potion, I I. Don't take any damage. I mean, yeah, I, I, you still have the um, wither heart icons on the health bar, but still, you, you're not taking any damage uh, still. And yeah, you still cannot get. I mean, you do take a bit of damage, but I mean, event. I mean, 
you don't have the poison effect even afterwards. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a cool feature. Potion of Hallucination. So if we drink the Potion of Hallucination, we get the Hallucination effect. And so, yeah, so as you can um, notice that that's exactly how it works. So the hallucination effect doesn't exactly um, do much. I mean, I mean, kind of does that. See, for the hallucination effect, I don't exactly know how to, you know, uh, make um, mobs appear out of thin air when players only have the hallucination effect at that moment. So what I did is that basically, well, um, in random times, you hear like creeper explosions, um, zombie noises, uh, skeleton shootings, and on like very very certain occasions, or what I mean is like, um, in the most random time, yeah, you take a bit of damage from just out of nowhere. To really, uh, really, um, you know, demonstrate the um, downside of the hallucination effect. So yeah, I, oh, I'm sh oh shoot, I'm, I'm about to die. Wait, am I? Oh, never mind, I think I'm, I think I'm still alive. So let me just give myself um, the hallucination effect for, let's say, um, about this long. And let me just go into creative so I don't die. Now there's also a few um, additional features that I add into this um, status effect. So essentially, um, here let me just demonstrate it for you for a while. So let's say when we go back to night time, it should um, it'll just take a moment. Um, usually it's like a rand. I I made it random just so that players can't predict it. And so yeah, so basically what I did is that whenever it's night time and while you still have the um, hallucination effect, um, you can- what is that? Oh, that's just stars. So yeah, basically what happens is that basically, well, whenever you have the hallucination effect and when it's night time, um, there's certain times, uh, well besides hearing the creeper effects, you sometimes you can hear um, phantom noises. And so right now, um, we don't have phantoms in the sky right now, and as you can notice, uh, we just heard phantom creatures like right now, and there is still no phantoms in the sky. And so here's the other additional feature that I add. So basically, whenever we're at Y level, um, below Y level 0, basically we're in the negative Y level, there is a chance that we can hear the warden sound. We're just gonna have to wait for a while for that. Um, it's been a while, so at this point, I'm just kind of breaking blocks, just to show um how long it's been to wait for the warden sound. So I'm just gonna continue um mining this to show you how long it's been. I've been oh. So yeah, yeah, there it is. So yeah, basically you can also hear skeleton shooting sound. So, yeah, there we go, finally! We can hear the warden sound and oh that is a lot of warden sound. So we're at Y level negative 37, so yeah, basically you're gonna have to be at the negative Y level just to hear the- Oh, oh, oh. Huh. I did not expect that. So yeah, so just to showcase, um, we're in the middle of an ancient city, where is the- there it is. So yeah, we're right smack down in the middle of the ancient city, and as you can notice, um, you're- yes, you are hearing warden sounds, but there is no warden, um, summoning around us. That's because, well, we still have the other destination effect, and this can only work when you're below, um, Y level 0, so basically when you're ever at the- uh, negative Y levels. So yeah, I've been flying around for a while, and I haven't even I haven't even triggered any of the uh, what are these called? Oh yeah, you can also hear Enderman sounds as well when you're in the when you have the hallucination effect. So yeah, as I said, I'm not even triggering any of the smoke sensors. I'm not even placing it. I haven't even placed any sand blocks here, and you can still hear the warden sounds. Um, 
I mean, this whole time you've been hearing Clipper songs, but still, you you, you can still hear you can still occasionally hear um, warden summoning sounds. Calamari. Okay, so now Squish should drop um real quick. I can see some Squids over there. How do I how do I sprint while flying? Eh, I'll figure that out later. Uh, okay, so when we try to kill Squid, it'll drop a raw Squid. So yeah, I made it so that now, whenever you kill them, they will always drop the raw Squid, just like how when you kill a chicken, it'll drop a raw chicken every single time. Now what I also did is that I also made it so that now you can actually fish for a raw Squid. So let's just do that. And we're just gonna have to wait for a while. It's um, it's been quite a while. I've only got like seven fish. I got like six cards and one salmon. Um, well, I mean, I did make it a very rare chance to actually fish up a raw squid. I'm just gonna pray that um, if I ever do release this mod, um, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna hope that people will take my word and just believe that you can actually get um. Ross quest from pushing. You know I'm 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 quitting. Now I did make a unique feature where when you try to eat a raw squid, um you will get the nausea of it because well common sense wise you're eating a raw squid, I don't think um you're gonna feel that great. And of course with like any other food, uh how do I okay there we go. Like as I said, um uh, with any other food you can cook the raw squid into calamari. And when you eat it, you won't get the nausea effect. Hard boiled eggs. Okay, so in order to cook boiled egg, you first gotta have a water bucket and an egg, and you can get an egg in a water bucket. And once you get an egg in a water bucket, there's like three ways for you to cook it. You can either um, cook it using a campfire, using a regular furnace, you can use a smoker and these three different ways I accidentally um, destroyed the furnace actually cook different kinds of boiled eggs so what I mean by that is that basically basically the kind of boiled egg that you can cook is dependent on what kind of block you're using so let's say if you're using a campfire you'll get the soft boiled egg uh, if you're using a furnace which I actually which I accidentally destroyed uh, you get the hard boiled egg and when you use a smoker you get the overcooked ball egg and then you just need to right click to get the egg now when eating the ball egg you don't actually um get any status effects and there's really no difference in terms of like um the hunger bar progression thing so essentially even when you're eating different kinds of boiled eggs um you'll still be getting the same hunger points when you eat them and I still have the hallucination effect. Wax doors and trap doors. So now we got our wax fence, um, wax doors, and we got the wax trap doors. And when we try to power it, it doesn't power. So this is the regular door and this is the wax door and as you'll notice um, they look exactly um, the same and I did this for all the other doors so we got oak, spruce, um, birch, acacia, jungle, dark oak, uh, mangrove, um, cherry, uh, bamboo, crimson, um, I think this is called nylium Nilium, Nilium, I think this is called. This does mean, however, that um, iron doors. Um. Oh wait. Oh, that's. Wait, hold up. Oh, that's cool. Wait. Oh, I never noticed this. Wait, that. Oh, that's. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Well, how about that? Okay, I still got the hallucination effect. Can I just drink some milk and just get rid of it? Chorus flower, suspicious stew. Okay, so now we have. Wait, what? Why do I still have the hallucination effect? Wait, hold on. Okay, let me try something. Okay, so I still can eat a forest fruit. What about? 
Okay, so that works. Then what if I just bring this again? Can I still get rid of the paint rollers? Okay, so I guess I can't use the milk bucket to remove the hallucination effect. Now where was I? Oh yeah, uh, paint rollers. Okay, yeah. So now when we... Okay, so first let's place some um, wool blocks. Let's place a couple over here. Um, some concrete. And some glass. So now when we have a die on our offhand, and then we try to left click, I mean right click on this, it will dye the wool, it will dye the concrete, it will dye the glass, the stained glass, and this is... I think this should... I think this should not work. But anyway, so yeah, you can now dye, um, place blocks, I mean, well, place wool, place concrete, place carpets, uh, and you can use the paint rollers to dye the, the blocks. Now, I did code it so that you can't um, dye the stained glass because, well, I think that's kind of too OP. And the other thing that I did is that you can't um, dye concrete powder, you can't dye terracotta, um, glazed terracotta. And so let me just try to demonstrate it for you guys. And yeah, so basically um, for this reason, um, the concrete powder, because, well, it's powder, you can't really um, dye powder, it's, it's kind of odd. Um, for terracotta, I mean, well, let me just um, put this up here. So like, so yeah, so cyan terracotta, it kind of looks like gray. Oh, that's kind of scared me. So yeah, it basically kind of looks like um, gray concrete. So like, I feel like that really doesn't make sense in, t in some extent. And for glazed terracotta, I mean, well, I mean, just picture this, right? So you have blue, the regular blue glazed terracotta, that makes sense, right? But for orange terracotta, I mean, yeah, there is orange, but there is a large part of it that is like cyan, a bit of white, and for like lime terracotta, um, there's some yellow in it. So like, yeah, so essentially, um, you can't um, dye the, well, the, you can't dye the glazed terracotta because, well, it kind of does not make sense in a way. Okay, so if I can't use milk buckets to remove the status effect, what if I just try using commands? What would that have? Wax coral. Jeez, are you kidding me? Anytime I try to drink a milk bucket or anytime I try to use the effect clear command, I still have the hallucination effect. And I keep getting skipped into the next suggestion part. I mean, I already did this last time. Look, here, I just used the corn coral. I just used the gas here and boom, I got their regenerative. It's not even the, it's not even called wax. What? Why am I stuck in this sort of limbo? Look, I can just place it. I, I mean, Look, I already did this last time, why am I still here? I mean, at least this part still works, and for some reason, um, this happens when I use it on the wall fan, and oh, this happens. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Uh, what else can I do? I can't use a milk bucket, I can't use the effect clear command, and I'm stuck in this sort of loop limbo. I mean, I already did this last video. Wait a minute. Last video. That's it! The way that I made antitoxin work is that, well, in the name, antitoxin, I made it so that it basically removes every single negative potion effect, including levitation. I know what I can do! I don't have to consume a milk bucket, I just have to consume coca as a drink. Okay, come on, let's see if this works. And... What? No. What? Come on, don't tell me. It only works on vanilla status effects? No, there's gotta be another alternative. Uh, what else can I drink? That's it! I just gotta drink juice. A bridge between suspicious stew and potion brewing. No, screw these juices. This is what I really need. Now, I can't use a vanilla milk bucket, but this is the next best shot I got. So I just hope that this would work. Dream? Where am I? Oh, right. I'm, I'm still here. Oh, whatever that dream was, 
At least it's over. I wonder. Can I still... Guess I'm still stuck here then. You know what? No! It's a whole brand new world. I think I'm gonna go explore it. See what it has to offer. of the video thank you so much for watching and well waiting for three months just for a sequel <laughs> well kind of a sequel oh and go check out the official minecraft <laughs> suggestion discord server it's a pretty cool place to see minecraft art and mods in development and you can even share your own work and get some feedback out of it and they even got the guy who made the original Aether mod and of course check out my two links in the description thanks again for watching and if you want to see more you can always go check out the other videos anyways that's all i have for you guys and i will see you in the next video Bye! Uh -huh.